all of who we are as a collective and why we are here. Uh, I want to start just with a little recollection of where we were last year when we gathered. Last year when we gathered, it was in the aftermath of the devastating floods that had hit Vermont. And EAN's hometown, my hometown, was still mostly shuttered. And we were all trying to come to terms with seeing the impacts of climate change right here at home. And this year, we are in exactly the same boat. I don't need to remind you that this summer again, many Vermont communities got hit by more devastating floods. And as much as I love this beautiful summer weather that we are having today, this is not September weather for Vermont. But I would like to quote Ian's amazing board chair, Linda McGinnis, and say that one of the reasons that it is such an honor to welcome you here today is because EAN gives you hope. And when I say that EAN gives me hope, I mean that you all give me hope. Uh, the coming together of all of these people to find solutions to the energy and climate challenges that we have gives me hope. Uh, and I say EAN gives me hope because EAN is really two things. The first thing we are is the network. And that's all of you. All of you and other public sector, nonprofit, utility business, and higher education partners working collaboratively to achieve Vermont's climate and energy commitments in ways that create a more just, thriving, and sustainable future. The second thing that EAN is, is a very small organization with three staff members and 14 board members. And we, as a nonprofit, so are here to support you by conducting climate and energy data tracking, research, and analysis on behalf of all Vermonters, and by facilitating effective collaboration in service of the network's mission. So that's why we're all here together. together. So that is who EAN is, as well as a network and as a nonprofit. Um, but why are we here today? Given the met venue, you might think that we are here for a wedding. We're not, but if anyone wants to get married, we do have the venue all day, so just let me know. Uh, but no, I would argue that we're here to develop the capacity of the EAN network to build equitable and effective solutions to pressing climate and energy issues. So to do that today, we're going to hear from one another, and we're going to have time to discuss a number of different topics, ideas, programs, and policies. I'm going to give more instructions on how that's going to work as the day unfolds, so that you have the information you need just before you need it. So, uh, and that means for all of you who are presenters, right before the first round of presenters comes up, I'm going to give you more instructions for the presenters, because I know there's a lot of you here in the room. You probably want to know what you're going to do, but I will get to it. Um, I do want to know one other thing. One thing we're not doing this year that we normally do is unveiling our next annual progress report for Vermont. I am holding one in my hand. This is the penultimate draft. We are still in editing mode, and over the next three work days, we're going to finish this report. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even going to look like this, because one thing we're not sure about is the cover. But what I am sure about is that by mid-October, you will have one of these in your mailbox, and if you don't, let me know. We'll make sure we send you one. Um, there are, I think, eight different posters up around the room. Those are all graphics from the new report. There's still time for you to find errors in there and let us know, because we are still editing. But we feel really good about some of these graphics, and we'd be very interested to know which ones speak to you, which new ones um, you find useful, and how we can, we always want to know how we can do better with this. We're also going to have some additional dedicated time to learn about the report in October. We'll have a webinar, and we'll have Okay, the logistics. Okay, so if you need a Wi-Fi code, I did have it up on the screen. I think you can put it on the screen again, but it's posted on the wall, and it's posted on the, I think it's on the table right now. So it's on the wall right there. It's on the wall over here. You can, you can go grab that one if you need it. Restrooms are through this door on the, my right, on your left. It's maybe a little bit moved by the screen for some people. And I'm not going to go through and read all of the sponsors, but we are so grateful for all of the folks who have stepped forward to sponsor this event and make it available to everyone. Um, you'll see them listed on several of the slides that, you, that we have up today. I do want to remind you that we have broken our summit into two days this year, so we are having this gathering today, which is very conversational. 
And then we're going to have another gathering December 3rd after the election when we know a little bit more about what the coming year is going to look like here in the US. Okay. So, enough logistics. I want to shift to the core of our agenda.